Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Zelda Zone Zero. The post bamboo seems to have trouble. We should help it complete the mission to progress to the main story. Today, we'll continue doing Chapter 2. Before we get to that, we're gonna finish doing Nakamada's story quest. Just got a message from Nakamada, and she wants to be at the parking lot. She sounds kind of serious and texts what happened. Proxy, is a Proxy office found out who you were? How long do you think you were standing be incredible before confessing? I'm a Proxy, not a pro maniac. I'm just saying, for me, I'm being too cautious. All these intuition was class concluded. Hmm. Proxy is quite efficient. As things stand, we seem to be doing the as we need. But my intuition tells me something is wrong. Very few gangsters was who roams the street are willing to reveal things to a wedding. I'm not sure it's because Fusuki is more experienced in the techniques, but never mind. So let's just feels off. That's why I want to talk to you in person. Let's talk inside the story. Yeah, sure, Nakamada. I thought it to the story with Nakamada. Everyone listen to her account with her meeting with Ali. Okay. Miss Nakamada, 11th Precinct has sent over the results of their interrogation. That sneaky dude they found lurking around the hollows is actually from the gang we're going after. He's already flipped. He told us how they sent him out to snoop around because they'd heard about and were interested in our bait. Oh, and under what circumstances did he give up this information? Uh huh? Why do you ask? Is that important? Of course! If he keeps silent, then there's definitely a connection. But if he gets suddenly angry, then perhaps you misread the situation. Or perhaps you're completely right. If he keeps saying, I can't say, it means there are conditions you have to meet before he'll talk. A gang member capable of hollow exploration like this is certainly no amateur. If he won't spill everything out of desperation, you should be very skeptical about anything he says. Huh, you're so knowledgeable! But the interrogation was carried out by the 11th Precinct, so we only have access to the written report. There's no way of knowing the specifics of the interrogation, and there's something else that's troublesome. If this guy doesn't report back to his gang, it might expose our trap. So, to avoid that possibility, the precinct decided to immediately use him in a sting to catch the rest of his gang. They asked him to leak info to his gang, saying that the ether resources are legit, and the gangs decided to make a move on it. Ah, uh, meow. Something about this operation still seems fishy to me. I'll just have to bite my tail and go with the flow for now. Uh, back to the present in the video story. That's everything that happened, according to that gang member. The gang tends to use a pretty large group for the robbery. There's a small team of three to four individuals assigned to handle the transportation and disposal of the stolen goods once the job is done. Ollie's mission this time is to lead a small team along with a defected gang member and capture those involved in fencing the stolen goods. They'll head to the hollow in a little while to carry out the mission. Hmm. Oh, concern. Any concern about the operation? You don't seem convinced, Nekomata. Is everything okay? If the gangster's confession was true, then everything should be fine. But, and maybe it's because I grew up in a street gang myself, something tells me we should find out more about that guy first. Since the precinct has already drawn up a plan to capture them, though, neither we nor Ollie have a choice in the matter. I've already talked to him. This time, we're gonna follow him at a distance and play things by ear. If he needs our help with anything, he'll find a way to message us in secret. Yeah. Okay, so now let's get started with the hollow. Let's begin. Help all the the net on the gangster. Okay. What about cat burglar? <laughs> What's the call that? Okay. Reporting in, Officer Ollie. Our team and the main force at the resource point are all in position. Operation Watch and Wait is ready to go. Why is she this? Why is she this a bastion from Overwatch? Roger that. All right, Alberto, you're our informant, so it's time for you to take the stage. Yeah, give your boss a call. Y yes, sir. Huh? Is that the gangster oi? Uh, hello? Yeah, boss, it's me. Alberto. Oh, okay, yeah. Numbers, boss. My patience was seconds away from wearing thin after not hearing from you in so long. Sorry, boss. I had a problem with my carrot and only just got it fixed. B but it's all sorted now. Right, you better not mess this up. I've got the location that you sent over. Is it the right place? Don't worry. I got the scoop when I was out gathering intel last time. All right. We're going to get the goods now. You go meet up with the vehicles. Out. Okay. I did everything you said, sir. O okay. <laughs> uh, next, you'll take us to the ones responsible for selling the stolen goods. 
Meanwhile, not far away. Proxy, Ali's group is about to get moving. We should get going too. Yes, we should. Oh, Master, my God. Okay. please remotely assist Ali in reaching his destination. I have updated your system with Ollie's look. Please make sure the detected an electrical switch that controls the door. I've marked I the location it. of the switch in your system. Yeah, thanks, Barry. Open. It's open. Your virtual assistant is useful after all. Ethereum! You can close the door with that button over there so Ollie will know he should switch paths. Yeah, sure. Miss Nikomata, your help from afar is invaluable. No worries, just keep going. Leave the rest to me. Yeah, there's an energy right here, be Nekomata. Okay. We're just gonna attack with the monsters. Damn, does this is load that slow this time? Where's my connection maybe? There we go. Alright, okay. meow. We are going to attack. I see some enemies and I see you stalking me. Okay. Damn. Look a little different than last last fight, these guys. Yeah. We are too powerful at this point. And then done. The foul detected. Hey, watch it. Okay. Hey. Now we go after this one. I'm using my turn to attack this. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, that was good. This the music style though is actually badass. Okay, keep going, you guys. I'm hearing interference on the comms device. Don't stray too, too far away. What? How far from the stolen goods are we? There is a shortcut, but I'm not sure if we can take it. Hmm. I mean, maybe you could. Seems like we're good to go. Okay. Keep going up. Keep going. Looks like someone's sneaking up behind Ollie and company. Uh oh. Come here, bitch! Oh, wait. Should the birds be the way to set? Why is still here? You and I will have a bad feeling about this, but you need to defend them first and then judge them to her answers. Let's get them. With a spring boy toys them, like we did a disaster to toys them. Okay, Nakamura, we got this! Crashing okay. them. He's scratching the fuck out of them. And Ellen! Oh, I thought you missed. Ellen should spike. Touch them. Oh, fuck the boxes. Who needs boxes? Who needs boxes? Okay, I'm gonna shock them with a hide. Okay. Mother. Okay. at them. My enemies? Oh no. This is my last way over here. Name detective? Okay, yeah, it's not in the way. How about I squash all of you? One survived! You're dead. Far away. Got it. Okay. Ellen. Oh no! Okay, Rina! Okay, we got you. Let's go for you! Yeah, that's right! Use your shock tail to, to smack their heads! Oh, knock the fuck out. Weird? Why are there bandits here? I don't know why. Hey, look at that. What happened? Where did they go? 
Going forward. We'll be okay. Oh, but that's healing. Uh it'll be okay. Uh oh. Gang set us up. We fell into their trap. Oh fuck. What? What's going on? I thought there were only supposed to be a few of them covering the sale. What are all these guys doing here? This isn't good. We're outgunned. Everyone, calm. Just calm down and get ready to yeah, make a break for it. Um... Don't you think it's a little late for that? Boss, we rounded up the officers, except for the one leading them. So... This is... This is what you had planned all along! <laughs> of course it's a trap! Never thought the hunter would become the hunted, did you? You... You... Don't tell me you... <laughs> We're a gang making a living stealing ether resources. We always know where the grass is greener. Killer job like that pops up on internet? <laughs> you better believe we're gonna look into it. If you ask me, your mistake was being way too eager to get what you want. <laughs> and trusting the word of a gangster. Anyway, we'd be rude not to accept such a fine gift from public security. Right? What are you... What are you gonna do? <laughs> Already shaking with fear. Now, how did a coward like you end up making captain? All right, Captain. It's time for you to take the stage. Call up your main force and come up with a reason for them to withdraw from the resource site. What? No. No way. I won't. No. Do you still not understand the gravity of the situation? Help us get this batch of ether resources, and I'll let you live. Isn't that a good deal? Or, would you rather wait here with these officers, waiting to be fed to the ethereals? Ah, ethereals! No, don't! You can't feed me to an ethereal! <laughs> hey, boss! I think Ethereals really freak this guy out. Captain, call up your guys right now. The boss's patience is running out. No, I... I can't do that. Huh? I... I don't want to be eaten by an Ethereal, but... I... I don't want to lose my job either. If I help you contact the main force, I'll be fired, and my life will be completely ruined. So what you're saying is... It's better to just end everything here and now. No, I... Uh, that's not what I meant either! What... What I'm saying is... I know another way to get the etheric resources without having to involve the other officers. Huh. Is that a fact? Sure you're not just... Uh, making stuff up? Of course not! Please! Please trust me! I'm an orphan and was adopted as a kid. I brought up a whole load of siblings all unrelated to me, and I suffered so much over the years. I thought becoming a public security officer would mean having a decent job. But after all these years in the department, I've mostly just been sitting on the sidelines. I'm not that young anymore, and this operation might be the last chance I ever get. <laughs> but seeing as it's doomed anyway... I should really think about myself first and foremost. As long as the department doesn't know I'm responsible, the blame won't fall on me, even if the ether resources are lost. How surprising. The kid really does have some will to live. <laughs> All right then, lead the way. On the other side. Damn it, I knew something smelled fishy. He was all a setup. The gangsters tricked Ollie. Well, it's already happened. So all we can do now is adapt and respond. But what do you two think about what Ollie just said? Hmm. 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 You, Ollie must have a reason for what he's doing. I think Ollie must have something planned. Yeah, I think so too. Remember? Back when we first met Ollie, he was terrified. But he still didn't reveal he was actually a public security officer. Yeah, like she said. He may be unreliable, but he's got more backbone than I thought. And did his speech to the gangster boss sound familiar to you too? He's a bright guy. He's definitely planning something. 
Let's follow him and see what he's up to. Mm, got it. Come with me. Over there. So well behaved. Keep an eye on the area for me. Mm. Uh oh. Where's Ollie taking the gang members? Proxy. Hold on. Uh, please, Bill, be honest with later. I'll get a phone to you. I'll you the deal, and I'll give you some information to done. I don't give a fuck! I'm going to beat the fuck out of you! We got it, Nakamara. We got this! Yeah? Yeah? Drug your shits! No one knows! Get us the hollows! These are fucking hollows! You're fucking innocent! Calling bullshit on that one. Mm -hmm. Now, look down, get shocked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shock them. We'll hide. Alright. Now we go this way. Alright, there's a final wave. How about this? Yeah, I just. Ooh. Go! Almost dead! And swing up your le uh, um uh, <laughs> Okay, at least you didn't at least Kyle didn't show me your panties again. This game needs to stop teasing me! Okay, let's grab this one. Damn, are they gonna attack or probably not? Okay, do you know what to deal with? My goodness. Oh boy, who are we dealing with though? Who are we dealing with? You look kind of Oh, the game knows them. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna save the old boy. I'm gonna wait for the last wave for that. That one is beautiful. Okay, that one was beautiful. This way, that way. No, detected. The bomb! Now we'll tell you, we'll Avoid it. too powerful. Nakamura! Oh, you missed! I think you're joking. Uh huh. You think that shield hurt? Kind of wave, yeah? Oh my god. How much more are we gonna fight these guys? Dude? I'm just scratching the hell out of these guys. Yeah, okay, look at these blood on my fingers! So much blood! Oh, you're still standing in the corner, like nothing happened. Okay. Let's go. Final protected. Okay, I'm gonna save. Okay. Winner. Come here. How annoying. Get blessed! Smiley! Woohoo! <laughs> oh my, it's just banging over to like, Look at my tail! You can't touch it! Too bad! Ha uh ha! -huh. Um, hold on, if I go up... Oh, never mind. There's nothing up there, we're good, we're good. Uh huh? Oh, healing. Okay. Now we go left. What is falling from behind? Without them noticing us. Is Ollie trying to tell us to use the switch? Let's like, use it. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Let's call the play safe and sorry. Okay, we're here. We've arrived at our destination. Hey, what is this place? This seems pretty far from where you sashay theric resources. Please, just hear me out for a moment. When I was out here earlier, laying out the resources, I, I discovered this weird spatial displacement phenomenon nearby, happening intermittently. Are you saying all we have to do is just wait here, and a spatial displacement will bring etheric resources to us from who knows where? Yes, just, just a little bit longer, and the miracle is going to happen. Huh? What's the matter? Why are you getting all sweaty? What's that sound? Boss, this... This isn't good. Ethereals! There's so many. Where'd they all come from? I... I can't take it anymore! <laughs> Ethereals! 
on the other side. Well, he took those gangsters to where he got attacked last time. Looks like he wants the ethereals to weaken the gangsters to create an opportunity for us. We shouldn't let his efforts go to waste. Come on, let's get after him. Yeah, let's go. You know, this is. And the gang members won't let him go. Let's hurry up. Yeah, we're pushing it. Woo! Oh, we'll just spin you around. Uh, oh, hey, Ali, we're here. We, we finally wiped out all the ethereals, boss. Where'd that sneaky little cop get to, Alberto? How dare he try this kind of stunt on me? I'm gonna skin him alive. He's over here. We've got him. Come here. <laughs> I took you for a jittery coward before. I didn't think you had the guts. You let us that horde of ethereals hoping they'd take us out. Bet you never thought a bunch of gangsters like us could take them all out, huh? No. I actually thought of that, but I... I knew this would be enough. What do you mean? Make some sense! What he means is... Now I can take you out all by myself! Look who's here, bitch! The Nicole is a tree! Who's a door boy but a murderer? Huh? You guys want to huh? Oh, come on. You don't say gang bang with her? Oh, hell no. I think she's younger. That's illegal. Unless she's a dolphin. That's probably fine, I guess. But still, kind of want to do. Go, Ellen. Oh, we swing at that one. Frozen up with Ellen. Shock them up. He's heading that way. Run him down. One, Ellen. Okay. Gotta be careful. Let's keep running. Is that all you got? Let's get him. Okay. Rina. Go shock them. Better dodge. Yeah, we're okay, we're okay. Rina. Get out of the way. You're fine, you're fine, Ellen. Finally I'll try my Damn, she's trying so sad. Just to right now. Yeah. Ellen is hella strong because of what's going on these guys. That'll do. Wait this way. We know. Not Finish him off. Oh ho! Why the cock? How much longer are you gonna bug me? That's why you all surrendered, of course. Careful. Dream on. Grenade. Not a mother. Nah, nah, look at that. <laughs> now they're burning up. Yeah, let's go, Nakamata. She's having fun too. She's just some lousy cat. You think? Oh my god, why the dick? Would you care to say that one more time? <laughs> Go on. You stupid cat! <laughs> that is so serious. <laughs> That's right. You tell Nakamata. Miss Nakamata, uh, Proxy, you, you really came. <laughs> oh, you look a little shaky, Dale. Ollie, you're looking kind of shaky. Did you get hurt? <laughs> Don't worry, our uniforms are pretty tough. It's just, I saw so many ethereals all at once. They got me a bit flustered. Those gangsters almost tore you to pieces, but you're still fixated on the ethereals? But you really are something. That 
Anyway, we did a pretty good job just now, Ollie. Hmm. All thanks to your quick thinking. That's right. If you hadn't thought so quickly to use the ethereals to weaken them, Nekomata might not have been enough to take them out. <laughs> well, you know, now that I think about it, that really was kind of unbelievable, wasn't it? My mind just about went blank once I realized we'd been double-crossed. And I don't know why, but... I suddenly thought of what Miss Nekomata said before. Turn your personal experience and your personality into your very own secret weapon. So you figured out the way I do things and trick those gangsters the same way I would have? Great work! And thanks to your quick thinking, your lies went a whole lot more smoothly this time. It's because what I said wasn't all lies. Yeah? Well, didn't you tell me that it's best to mix in some of your own personal experience if you want to get someone to believe your lies? Well, I really am an orphan. I was the oldest kid at the orphanage. And I really did have to more or less raise a whole load of siblings, all unrelated to me. The reason I chose Argyles was because of the free tuition due to family finances. If your finances were so bad, why didn't you go to a company-affiliated school? I have heard lots of company-run schools offer scholarships. And with your ether aptitude, you probably would have gotten some more lucrative job offers once you graduated. S some orphans who get out into the real world feel shackled by self-doubt or the distressing memories of their early years. And they happen to find themselves on a path irreversibly in pursuit of money and survival. Uh, of course, I don't mean to say anything bad about people like that. After all, it it is what it is. But as an older brother, I never want to see my younger siblings like that. I wanted to become a public security officer so I could stand with my head held high and tell them we can all become amazing people. But <laughs> I'm no role model. I've done nothing really after all these years. I mean, I've never even been awarded so much as a simple commendation before. No wonder you were so intent on getting some recognition before. It was all because of this, but... I think your wish just might have come true. Huh? Good role models aren't defined by the accommodations they're awarded, but by the actions they take. You showed ingenuity and bravery during the mission. You not only saved public security from losing those ether resources, but you also arrested all those criminals. Are those not the actions of a good role model? Uh, really? I did all that? Sure did. So keep your head up high, your brothers and sisters. They're all gonna be proud of you, too! Anyway, everything's settled for now. So, we'll leave the rest of it to you public security officers to handle. Hmm. So concluded a successful partnership. A happy and successful end to our cooperation. Uh, I don't know if I'll get a bonus this time, but I'll pay both your fees as soon as I get back to the precinct. I'm sure you'll get your bonus. But, as for my cut, I don't want it. Uh huh? Uh, Miss Nekomata, what are you talking about? I said you don't have to pay me! Just pay the proxy! Take your bonus and buy those kids something nice. Kids who grew up with nothing cherish whatever gifts they're given. This is just... It's just what I found in my personal experience. Hmm. Let's put the remainder then, Nakamada. In that case, let's split the remainder. But Ollie, we have a condition. Remember what you said today. And keep being a good role model for those kids. Yeah! And if I ever catch even a sniff that you've gone crooked, then you can bet I'll be the first one after you. Thanks so much! I promise, I'll definitely keep up my end of the deal too. Uh, just like that, Sudden found the uh, cutscenes finally close on the successful operation. Woo! One week later. Proxy! It's me! Um. Um, have you come to work off some of your debt? Welcome. Come to work off some of the cunning hare's debt? No way. I just came by today to bring you some fresh fish. Fish? Wow, the fresh smell of a new scheme. Don't be so suspicious, you two. They're from Ollie. Ollie sent this? Isn't he a public security officer? Where'd he get so much fish? After he was told he'd be getting his bonus, he said he went back to the orphanage last weekend. He went ahead and told them all the presents were for me, so all the kids went out fishing with him to say thanks. Wow, isn't that fantastic? Fish is your favorite. Well, yeah, but don't stereotype us sirens. Sometimes we want a little variety. Something nicer. Like steak or crab legs. Anyway, I've got way too much now, so I want to share some with you. Take half of it. I insist. Just then, don't the views to open. Uh, and you, 
What are you doing here? Hey, MB. I'm just returning a tape. Ah, oh, proxies. That's a lot of fish. Yes, you see that? One of Nakamura's friends gave it to her. One of Nekomata's friends gave them to her. Uh, <laughs> hey, Ambie, what do you mean by... Huh, exactly. She looks happy now, you see that? Nothing. It's just a little surprising you have friends who give you gifts. Not like the rest of us cunning hairs. Well, well, of course I do. Because I'm actually super popular. Definitely. Enough to call me a role model for the cunning hairs. Yeah, the very role model of a cunning hair. Huh? You just... Agree, just like that. And he says no. So, uh, it's nothing. Ugh. Why do I feel like all this was a waste of time? I'm going back to the cunning hairs now, Nekomata. You coming? Want me to carry some fish? Okay. Where are we going then, Faithen? See ya. Well, all things considered, the commission ended pretty well. How about fish for dinner tonight, Wise? Who's cooking? I got fishes speaking in leaves. Why is the never just say that she was a waste of time? It's all because of her original goal, right? Oh, I remember now. When I first got to touch the book with us, it was to get that pocket face to make Nako win his amount of cunning hell. But if Nako has not interested so much time in this case, she wouldn't have made friends with Ollie and gone fish from her friend. And it wouldn't have the chance to brag to Abby about how popular she is. Yeah, so I don't think what Nako did was a waste of time at all. We also get fish for free. Yeah, right. Why are we going to do the fish though? I don't want to think we can eat them all in one meal. How about trying a few different dishes? Um, sure! Okay, now we're going to do a side quest. Well, this side quest is part of the main quest too, so we're going to do this now. Your name is KK? It, gosh, that cat scratched my fucking eye again. Uh, hello? It, greetings, cousin. I'm Sikizubu number 7406. Please feel free to call me KK. How can I exist? Oh, offer the meeting sent you here to help you find a new job. Uh, seriously, I can't stand this job anymore. Uh, can we tell you more about it? Isn't it unreal that most of us will present that the very moment I was created just because I am a special model? I am sick and tired of being a security boo boo. Doing with pretty neighbor is a day long. When I was dealing with the traffic as in the last day, an angry driver kicked me in the, in the ass, and I still had these sore shoe printed back of them. Just now, when I climbed up the tree to save a camp, this piece of cat scratched my lens and wound my freshly painted case. And I don't even get my sight on the kids doing these on me while I'm patrol or dealing with line cutters or getting shoved around by troll makers. The officers get all the glory in the middle while us people do all the grunt work. Hmm, sounds like a really stressful job, but yeah, if I keep being a security boo, sooner or later my AR code will go haywire. That's why I made my mind and find a way out once I give myself a new job, I'm heading to my wishes later. Officer Miyui mentioned a bamboo employee expert who owns a real store and has a wide range of connections to the industry. That must be you, right? True is, I barely know anything about the uh, industry. That's why I was hoping you could help out give me a routine for a new job. Officer Miyui has contact to store manager at Lamasqua and I can go there from the interview while I'm ready. Please and thank you. Oh, so are we getting another person working with us? That's very interesting. Or maybe a different store to work with other than me? Like, we're gonna talk to- Oh, I didn't think we're gonna talk to this one, actually. Hello there. Hello, little one. You must be Kiki, the one may I mentioned looking for a walk, right? The pit- Just pitching your time Kiki busting around the buzzy is pretty kawaii. But why flower show takes more than just looking kawaii? I'm ready. KK is ready. Uh, why did you recommend this for season flowers to this picture custom over here? Actually, I haven't had a chance to download any house show do it yet. That's okay. Kai- Care and communion with customers is, uh, is as important as understanding and nurturing plants. Why not rely on your own experience and help the history customer make his mind? Detective work is my strongest suit. Let me see the suspect. No, I mean the kind of style and vibe. I got it. Hello, dear customer. Oh, hello. Do you have any flower recommendations? First, may I ask what the purpose of your passage? Uh, it's for the song important to me. Oh, are they a gentleman or a lady? It's, it's for a lady. Hmm, I knew it. Look at you. You can barely take care of yourself. Little more flowers. Honey, how can you talk to a cousin like that? And don't really look that bad? It's full of girl you liked at school, isn't it? Kids nowadays, you're all the same. It's an honest birthday, and I'm here to buy her some flowers. Manager? I want to speak with you, manager. I'm gonna file a complaint. Only the girls are good to explain the decision to the customer, and I'll offer to as an apology. Listen, man, I can't have trainers look because it's cheating anymore. Fed with the cost of the and what did you have really damaged you for your reputation? And you, you were fucking dead, you. I'm really sorry. It will make it up to you. 
It's fine. It's really was my idea, but I'm sorry, I can't hide this bamboo. Security boo K case for a job bug has been declared a failure. I sincerely use integration technique just now. I do have some on say a friendly wish for season, but because of my personality, those attacks are usually hard to by my human partner. Uh mm, don't give up. Let's keep looking. Yeah, we're not gonna give up just yet. The next one is oh my god, I have never seen this before. Um oh the hell you what the hell? Speak of bamboo, I've been waiting for you. The logo must be the bamboo of the interview today, right? I was mean to say you're quite the talented super uh, security boo. I was mean I said that? Uh huh, that's quite a compliment. We've been short sure stuff lately, and I happen to be needed to operate in measure. I was wondering if you would be interested. Uh, it's not what I was expecting, but I'd like to give you a shot. I can do it. Hey, this little guy has much energy. I well, of my younger days when I was approaching measure myself. Listen up, I got this point in the requirement, still the talent. My master always said talent was kosher when I came to learn that 7 2 on the massage. Alright, look, I'll show you a few moves and then you can give it a try on me. Are uh, you sure? Please devote yourself. Everyone say I'm some really strong hands. No worry, my shells are built in industry class hardness. Old dusty hands, or to be more precise, he has six hands in the air, striking a few offensive poses. Kick it for a lot, leaving a few notes with dents in old dusty shells. You got some serious shit in those hands, little guy. The business power's mother really packs a punch. Think about being paired with such a powerful security boot, it warns me. AI cords and make me forget the pain. Ha <laughs> I'm sorry, it gives my 18 gripping eye of a lot of ruthless kicks in, and I really need to work a city for the master technique. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, just a few dents. My ultra high strength metal shell can handle just fine. But if you were a customer, will maybe they wouldn't be survived. I'm sorry, my Mr. Dayum. I guess I understand how the interview is going to turn out. Don't leave a good down, guy. It's a change your power and the change code. You might still have a chance. And I have to say, your 18 good parts of the law was pretty impressive. So, was that a job? Next play with KK? In your opinion, do we have other talents to bring us Kitty Boo? Uh, being scared at one thing is a word good enough. Yo, why? Perhaps I just need to have a sound for security industry, so maybe I should live in my job so it's at the Moscow. Where else can I find a job that what the coin doesn't have to interact with customers directly? Hmm, I got an idea. Construction site, below industries? That's a famous company, right? I know that you have connection with that. You must be massive networking. Uh, actions led to success. Let's get into going now. I'll be there as soon as I finish up here. See you on your site. We're going to see. Oh, <gasps> do I get to see who I think I get to see? We're going to talk to this one. Oh, what are we someone else I know? Never mind. You're right on time, dear manager. I thought we good. You knew a lot about biblical technology, right? Yeah, I see I'm a bit of an expert. No, it's time for experience now. It's an urgent matter about bamboo alive. Please go up and check it out. Uh, what's so urgent? Up there, midway of the cousin side. A bamboo will feel how I pass out up there. Please go and check it out. Um, seriously, nobody knows how to fix a bamboo here. I think I know here who can fix bamboo. Then why are you still here? That, well, because I'm afraid of hearts too. If I go up there and pass out too, they will get pretty messy. Some of my colleagues have already gone up to check on the bamboo. Could you please go up and see what's going on? Aw oh, man, seriously? Wait, hold up, this is a side quest. No, I'll just do it though, it's not gonna hurt though. And, oh, it is part of it. Okay, Kiki's here too. Damage bamboo, you good? Mm -hmm. uh, there you are, manager. Something is not good with the bamboo. I did a quick check it, and it seems to be due to flaw at outdate space awareness algorithm. Uh, a stress reaction trigger a powerful flare of current models, which wouldn't cause a sudden flare. What do you think, manager? I'm not entirely sure what they're saying, but it still sounds good. Any idea, manager? Uh, bro, wake up, bro. I apply a similar to blocking, but without further intervention, a Paragon power soft could cause permanent damage to a storage unit. Uh, Nani! Don't forget about me, bro! Leave it to me. Alright, this should be easy. Let me just turn this, and turn that, and turn this, and turn this, and turn this. He's so like. <laughs> what happened? I was just turning the back out. You're past out to the hunt, but we managed to get the bad time to save you. Uh, oh, it's coming back to me now. Thank you, kind heart manager and handsome security boo. Why handsome boy? KK. Uh, let's just head down before it shuts down again. Okay. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is the cycle. This cycle is part of the main quest. I'm so funny when I said that. Okay, I'm here. Woo! 
Ok. Ok, ok, ok. Thanks for having me today. Uh, it wasn't for security and the storm manager of the time, my boat wouldn't have been. The security is so uh, easy to dependable. Not only does it raise around the campaign, group of men are dope, but they also handle the military loop like a poem. He's a real assist to public security, don't you think? And of course, you're awesome too. You skill almost everything. It's our duty to protect the lab and protect our citizens. That's why it's our duty. Well, we have a boot team. We'll make safety for our top of our future. Oh, by the way, we brought you here for the first place. It's been even the cake is looking for a new job. I see. Kiki's technical expert has impressed LA and his stress talent is even more impressive. What do you say, Ally? Actually, we really need to do SS here and find the bamboo skill as Kiki like to find a whale gem. We'd love to have Kiki join our team. Fantastic. You're more than welcome to be part of our crew, Kiki. Thank you very much for the offer, but I'm going to hesitate now. I might need some time to think for you too. Have a second thoughts, KK? Oh, well, I get it. Could this just require a careful consideration, but if you have a chance tomorrow, I'm going to always welcome you. Thanks again, both of you. Thank you for your help, dear manager. See you at the mosque well. Okay, going back to the mosque well. Thank you so much today, dear manager. It's just, in the end, I don't feel like Lingo must hear of his uniform. The liberal has got some big worries. Officer Miyagi would say, you don't want to leave your dead off Manager Miyagi, right? But honestly, I can't even explain how to like to say. Maybe I should have a lot of reason to stick around. Maybe I just feel bad leaving public security for all my excellent skills and stuff. As a key officer, I can't handle pretty much anything that comes on my way. But if I leave this, I'll the things I have no clue about. Hmm. Um. Uh, let's see. Your coaching skills are impressive. I own all of my human partners. He was the one who helped me turn, first turn my data bit by bit and train me every single day. He's a handsome and capable officer, always keeping me cool no matter if it's a small neighbor issue or a major case. I... such a powerful friendship. And you know, you're warm, you're warm feeling deep down in your eye core and you're lentil and so on. Officer Ming is always going on about our duties and the offerings of kind of from helping others. Uh, honestly, I don't really feel that kind of thing when I'm getting waffled up to speak cats and being citizen. Mm, maybe just a little, but yeah. You know, thank you so much, dear manager. Thank you, I'm not hesitant anymore. So for now, I'm gonna keep on the security boo and protect this in the new video. Show the officer, KK. Oh, so you decided to stay here after all. Now we we'll talk to Officer Mewing. Officer Mewing, you back? My goodness, my deepest energy. You tell me about in the out the case on subs. So he's keen to stay in the house, city. That's fantastic. Came blue card, the most highly guarded bamboo from all this year's newcoming. <laughs> KK's got settled in character for first security work, but young folks just lack confidence. Don't worry, I'll put out this year to care of persecuted employees. Thanks for your help. We'll solve KK's troubles. He needs a good season model for announcing your good deeds. Yeah. Alright. Acknowledgement. The monster is 60. Ooh. I mean, 6th Street in my city? I'm getting a lot of those done. Okay. So, are we done? Oh, we still gotta talk to Mei. Yep, we still do. Oh, me, have I already talked to Voko, the building of the community fresh here on the mask well. From the day forth, my good season, every good deed you do on the mask well shall be recorded. You should be awarded to a good season medal. If I have some free time, feel free to drop by if you can. I love to exchange high and strength and experience from our work. Um, sure. I should head home now if they've been done. Seeing as which, the first key lecture is a few day. I should discuss with Bill later. Yeah. So now I'm going home. Bill, hang. The post, the post said lecture. Don't worry, I don't forget. And it's just something that post key is to see all the masks of me from the major post on the facing day. Let's see how they start the feel so over the next few days. Then we go go to the love square together. Maybe we can grab a meal while we're there. Wow, you actually remember the wise. I'm so touched. Anyways, for the next couple of days, you can focus on other tasks you have to hide. Um, I'm much done with everything? Wait, hold up. Let me check out the other tasks before I move on. I don't think there's anything else I have to do. It's just mostly event things. So, I'm actually gonna say we're gonna go get started now. It's not going to hurt. So, let's get started. Alright, mission started. So, let's go in the car first of all. Um, okay. Alright, the event begin. Alright, it's over here apparently. <gasps> hey, our friends are here. Damn, people are here. Look at that. <gasps> oh my god, it's the cake woman. Suyon. It's good to see you again. You two managers. Hmm. You two seem to be in a good mood. You two seem to be in a good mood. I guess the seminar preparation went well. Thanks to everyone on 6th Street. They not only signed up for the seminar, they also helped spread the word to other districts. Do you in? I heard you'll be up on stage with the inspector answering questions from citizens. Don't worry. 
I'll bombard you with tons of questions so you won't feel left out. Uh, uh, come on. Go easy on me. Uh, good question. How, how thick are you? <laughs> you don't know, do you? Zhu Yuan gets super nervous in situations like this. She drank three pots of tea just to avoid nervously coughing up there. Sorry to interrupt, but I have something to report. We've analyzed and located the exact coordinates of the places Maroon previously identified inside the hollow. Please take a look at this. Thanks. I was also just informed that Inspector Bringer is on his way, and the media is waiting to get some pictures. Looks like we should go meet him. We'll investigate these locations in a couple of days. Hmm? Huh? Wait. There's something funny about these coordinates. Something funny? What are you seeing? Hmm. What's the one? Is something wrong? Sorry, you two, but something is weird about this report. I need to talk to Ju Yuan for a moment, if you'll excuse us. You can go on in. Okay, so you want to go walk away looking serious. That officer mentioned Maroon. That's the guy who was causing trouble with the EMP emitter, right? Is something going wrong with the case? I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's try to get close enough to eavesdrop on their conversation. Oh, we're gonna do that? I mean, <laughs> let's be careful of that. Hey, you do what you're doing! I'm gonna my sister. It's kinda awkward. Anyways, why is over here? The sea here is probably blocked up by the walls. Nobody will notice us. Shh, listen, I think still one you're not talking about what's ha just happened. On the path outside of security. Those coordinates are the spots Maroon's gang scouted some time ago, right? What do you think is off about them? You remember the monster they found in that square a while back? Of course. The remains are scheduled to be recovered this afternoon. But wait, what about it? You think these two cases are connected? Perhaps. I just realized every location Maroon pointed out lies on the route the evidence carrier is taking. What? The EMP emitter Maroon used had been modified to bypass vehicle security systems. When used correctly, it can unlock car doors without damaging the electronics. Maroon said his crew procured specialized containers for preserving etheric material. We assume they were targeting vehicles transporting valuable ether resources for large companies. But here's the thing. Public security's evidence carrier is the same kind of vehicle. Meaning, the evidence carrier could be in danger. Where is it now? Let me see. Right here. There's a slight delay in the surveillance signal, but the carrier seems headed towards its destination right now. But according to the record, it stopped for about 10 minutes somewhere in the hollow just 15 minutes ago. 10 minutes might not seem like much, but if someone's lying in wait with an EMP emitter, it'd be enough for them to snatch the evidence. We need to report this right now. I'll call it in. Wait a second. The carrier might have paused in the hollow due to changes in hollow structure or some other reason. We don't have solid proof yet of an attack on the carrier. Even if we report our suspicions, they won't immediately send someone. They'd follow protocol and do a remote analysis first. You're right. And if they do that, it could already be too late. Not only that, I'm worried about something else. The evidence recovery schedule was only decided recently. And the route inside the hollow is top secret. But according to Maroon, his gang had been scouting those locations for a while now. Meaning, there might be a mole in public security. Exactly. If we report our suspicions now, we might tip them off. I'd rather head into the hollow myself. That's a huge risk. You know that's against policy. They could take action against us. It's urgent. We don't have time to argue. We spent a long time preparing for today's seminar. With the media gathered like this, it's a rare opportunity for you to showcase your knowledge in front of the inspector. You should stay here. We're partners. You can trust me to bring back the evidence safe and sound. You have my word. Then that's when... Inspector Bringer's car has arrived. The inspector is already here. We don't have time to hesitate. I need to get going. I'll leave the seminar to you. Worshipping an undeserving deity is sick of fancy. Failure to act when action is needed shows a lack of courage. Huh? You said it yourself. An officer needs to be sure they're doing the right thing. I became an officer because of Inspector Bringer, but not for praise or his approval. I want to do for others what he did for me back then. I want to be someone who protects people. So you're going to... I'm going with you. That monster in the hollow is anything but ordinary. We have to protect the evidence. Besides, if the inspector really is the same as he was back then, 
I'm sure he'll support our choice. We can't just sit back and do nothing while the remains are in danger. Just like last time, we should try and help them any way we can. Oh boy, we will get started. They are both well trained officers, but the two of them alone are strong and not sophisticated. Plus, Steven is also crucial for us. We can't risk following the wrong hands. Why, right, let's head home, go to the agency, and help them out with Hollow. Alright, let's go! A sister and Shannon is taking back and taking back the evidence. What they do they know we're doing this or we're doing a secret again like before? Most likely we are doing a secret again. Okay. Judging by our predictions, they probably have the evidence by now. Any ideas on how we're gonna get it back? Here's what I'm thinking. To avoid raising suspicion, the suspects probably didn't damage the carrier's electronic systems. If that is indeed the case, we can check its driving record to pinpoint where exactly it stopped within the hollow. They're bound to have left some traces behind. The remains are bulky, so they can't move very quickly. Therefore, we can figure out where they went. Makes sense. Let's find the evidence carrier and see if our suspicions are right. I picked up the carrier's signal. Let's go. Okay. Meanwhile, in the bookshop, which is me. Ju Yuan and Ching Yi are heading out to find the evidence carrier first. Hmm. Can you find a shortcut, Fairy? Fairy, can you find a shortcut to the carrier? Affirmative. Planning the route now. Let's leave the route to Fairy Wise. We just need to get Ju Yuan and Ching Yi there without being found out. Yeah. Let's the be evidence careful. carrier signal is coming from over there. Ugh, the mobile device here seems unusable. Let me try adjusting the direction. Ugh, it's too heavy. Wise, something is blocking their way. Master, the firing direction of the ejector nearby can be adjusted. All right, let's help them find a shortcut to save time. These switches can be used repeatedly. Think carefully about the direction. Huh? Did the device just move by itself? Um, no. <laughs> Boo! A ghost is doing it. Boo hoo! <laughs> Oh wait, what do you- Oh wait, I'm gonna stay on the What am I doing? Do again? The device works now! Let's move. Something doesn't feel right. Ooh, yeah, she definitely knows something. Let's follow them. Carefully! Like, uh Master, high ether activity has been detected along the path to the evidence carrier's location. Oh, well, it seems you has you has to with Ethereum the long way. They probably won't notice Helios. Mm -mm, they won't notice me. Alright, kick girl. I'm going to kick some ass with the gun. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I can sell as while I'm doing this. I'm not going to do that though. I need to focus on killing these enemies. Alright, let's do this. Let's get some ammo actually. You can attack me! Yeah, he's swinging! Let's go, Ellen! I missed! Yeah, I'm too strong! The evidence carrier is nearby. Chingy, we should head over there now! Uh, this? This? Really? I mean, okay. Yes, finally! The carrier! Let's check on its condition. It looks fine on the outside. No signs of damage or being tampered with. Let's check inside. <sighs> I'm doing this to protect the evidence, but... Messing with the carrier without permission will definitely require writing up a report. And probably a pay cut, too. Well, let's forget all that for now. Jin Yi, help me unlock it. Jin Yi used the key to unlock the carrier. Huh? The evidence crate is still here. And the seal is untouched. Comparing the seal with the one in the photo, the angle is off by approximately three degrees. And the etheric matter feels totally different from what I sensed at the square. So, they really did get a hold of the evidence. They were gonna trick Hand by not leaving any trace. They went through all this trouble to make it seem like it was still there. That monster must be hiding some serious secrets. Juyuan, watch out! Enemies? I have a bullet from behind a short wall nearby. Straight in the this carrier. Ah, they got cover! Idiots! They're from the criminal investigation department. They aren't gonna go down easy. 
We've been here for hours. You could keep your cool for a little longer. <laughs> hey, relax. Our intel says it's just the two of them. They might have survived our ambush. But we can take them. Hurry up and deal with them. Officers go missing in the hollows every day. Yeah, what are different ones? What the fuck you mean by that? Hold on. Do you know the consequences of assaulting officers? Take your are you still We're dealing with a group of desperados? They never oh. planned on leaving us alive. Yeah, keep striking, Ellie. Don't miss the shots. Pretty decent. Do I so funny with that? Yeah, shot tail. And Zion. Aha. Uh -huh. These guys are tougher than I expected, and it sounds like they knew we were coming and set up an ambush near the carrier. What the heck is going? How could they have known we were going after the evidence? Hey, have you got rid of those two officers? <laughs> there they are. They're coming after us. Run. I can see our name. Me in the bookshop. Uh oh. Warning. Multiple hostiles approaching the officer's location at high speed. The officers should change direction immediately to avoid direct confrontation with multiple armed individuals. You hear that? Multiple enemies. They're about to be in trouble. Hmm. Uh... Ferry, is there a way to divert the approaching enemies? Ferry, is there a way to divert the enemy's attention? Master, I regret to inform you, there are no electronic devices or controllable machines in the area. It's too late, Wise. Look at the map. Jiwen and Chingy are trapped. It's a dead end. Fuck! Okay, what now? Watch out, Chingy! There's an ambush here, too! Oh, coming through. Um, they're closing in on us. Be careful. I don't know how to feel about this. I really don't. I think she got this. I think we got this. The girls. I'm a girl with large cake. That could kick ass. Sure have some firepower. I think we're okay. Lot. Don't worry, they got maids. They got Ellen and we're not here too. To shock them up. Like we got this still. Okay. Oh, we're going down the elevator. Who next? Stop right there. Won't be easy to get him off our tail. Let's face him head on. Yeah, we'll run choice. out of ammo if this continues. <laughs> Bring it, go, Lena. Shock them. This isn't good. Jiwen and Chingy are stuck in the building and surrounded by enemies. Hmm. Calm down, Bill. Let's keep our cool. They might be stuck, but the enemy can't breach the building easily either. Let's see if there's anything nearby we can use to help. Master. I've detected several unstable spatial fissures near the officer's location. Such spatial rifts are challenging to label in standard carrot data. But if utilized, they could help the target evacuate from their current location. Fairy may be able to locate the spatial rifts, but how do we tell Jiyuan and Qingyi where to go? I can safely tap into the officer's intercom within the hollow, second assistant. But if we connect to their intercom, won't we expose ourselves? It's, it's only we only exposed to to the existence of the epoxy. If it doesn't expose our exact identity, I think it's worth the risk if it saves lives. Question. Is the current objective to assist the two officers in leaving the current area, or rescue the two officers who are trapped? Aren't those the same thing? Sounds the same. Remote communication has an 87.1% chance of successfully guiding the officers out of their current area. But due to the significant disparity in forces and the limitations of long-range communication, I cannot swiftly assess the target's surrounding environment. The risk of failure will rapidly mount. So you're saying, to keep them safe, WISE has to personally guide them as a proxy? Affirmative. However, appearing in front of public security may bring major risks. Ugh, what a pain. If they weren't public security officers, we wouldn't even hesitate. Hmm. 
Failure to act when action is needed show a lack of courage. Do you remember what Chin Yi said? Failure to act when action is needed shows a lack of courage. Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi are good people. Despite the risks, I'll regret it forever if I choose to do nothing. Lies. Besides, if we work together. And on the bright side, if we work together, we might be able to recover the stolen remains. Affirmative. Master's assumption is reasonable. Well then, let's go save them. Okay, meanwhile... Oh, this isn't good. They've totally surrounded us. Unless we can somehow distract them, we're stuck here. If we can't think of a way out, I'll go distract them so you have a chance to get away. What? What are you talking about? It was me who insisted we investigate inside the hollow. You wouldn't even be in danger right now if it weren't for me. Besides, I'm not human. I'll be fine even if my body gets destroyed. Yeah, well, but you don't have that luxury. Hold up. I'm your captain, right? If someone has to take responsibility for this mess, it should be me. Besides, your physical abilities are much better than mine. If one of us has to make a run for it, you'd have a much better chance at surviving. Now's not the time to argue. Hmm. It's sicky. Now's not time to argue. Exactly. Now's not the time to argue. Who's there? Wait, it's coming from the intercom. Someone hacked into our encrypted frequency. B but how? I'm here to offer a solution. Instead of arguing about who should be the bait, how about I offer a solution that works for you both? Who are you? Why should we trust you? I can't convince you to trust me. I can't convince you to trust me. I'm a proxy. Not exactly someone who should normally be talking to you. But, while I may be a proxy, I have a conscience. Can't turn a blind eye while you're in danger. A proxy? Alright. So, what's the plan? I quit an opportunity for you. I'll create an opportunity for you. Go on. Now, follow my instructions. But what about the enemy? Leave it to me. <laughs> now, go. They're getting away! What now? Straight ahead. Jump into the fissure. The fissure? <laughs> hey, yo! Oh, what was that? Do we put ass up the screen now? What the fuck? Yeah, keep going, keep going. There's another fissure straight ahead. They're closing in. They'll catch us at this rate. I have a plan. It might be risky, but I'm sure you can do it. To oh my god, they're taking a shit. Dude, <laughs> what the fuck? Watch your head. Aww. Oh, come on, really? <clears throat> oh, that is so sad as an idea. She just slow fine. We're saved. Well, hero, now that you've saved us, do you plan on making an appearance? Sure. We can finally talk now. Hello! <laughs> I'm a cute one. You're a Bing Boo from Bellabog. Wait, no. There's no way an ordinary Bing Boo would be as capable as you, let alone hack into our intercom. So, who are you exactly? Chingyi, have you heard the rumors about a legendary proxy who doesn't enter the hollows themselves, but manages real-time communication from the outside? Faithin. That's me, I'm Faithin. That's me. I'm Faithin. So you were already watching us when we received the report from Bellabog. Just what was happening that day. Yeah, I was helping Bellabog Industries retrieve something lost. But I ended up running into that monster deep in the hollow, as you've already guessed. I think there's something unusual about that monster, too. There's some kind of conspiracy behind it, and it's connected to what I've been chasing. In other words, you're helping us so Hand gets the evidence and can uncover the truth about the monster. Exactly, and it's not too late. Exactly. And it's still not too late to get the evidence back. According to page 173 of the Public Security Officer's Manual, in urgent situations, officers have the right to recruit assistants without verifying their identities. So you're suggesting... Hmm. Wish, uh... 
I'm willing to be said assistance. I'm willing to be said assistance. Let's work together and get that evidence back. Deal. Now's not the time for more questions. We accept your assistance, Faithen. But as you've seen, the enemy is well prepared and has the advantage in numbers. Don't worry, leave it to me. Don't worry, leave that to me. Since we lack manpower, we'll use the hollow against them. That's my specialty. Yep, well. Oh, we're not done yet. Okay, that will be done by now. Damn. Some feel long. We've arrived at the evidence carrier area. Oh yeah. Oh wait, hold up. Here we got the okay. Wait, where's the three um things? I didn't click any of those. Okay. Clue number one. Master, I have found a discarded toolbox up ahead. It could contain relevant clues to the case. Your attention is needed. All right. A very heavy card too is abandoned by the roll side. It was slot inside the carrier machine and shut the EMB to them. This must have been left by the corpus. But why was it discard discarded here? It is not done for clue. It's time to put my expertise as a public security officer to good use. Alright. Oh, we need a plug in. Connect the dots in the mind space and solve the case. Use this to access my mind space and share information. Okay, use this. Oh, that's cool. The display device has been used to show the mind space. Collected clues will be stored in the memory zone. Once the adjacent clues are found, the question will become apparent. We don't have enough clues right now. Let's go back and look for more. Got it. Oh, I like that. Okay, we don't have no clue. Downhill. Master, there are footprints on the floor here that have been deliberately concealed. Oh, right, what's it say? Some hard to identify footprints were found to see. They have been difficult to cover up, making it difficult to see in the second direction, but can be interpreted with at least two people or even more left these footprints. Could this be the corpus footprints? The clue has been stored in the mind space. Uh, yeah, you can, you're going to go up here. Okay, let's got this. Master. I have detected varying degrees of defects and damages to the electronic devices in this area. Okay. Uh, the electronic device shows no sign of internal damage, but main tail of course has been burnt out. Doesn't this sound the EMP explosion? The clue has been stored in the mind space. Ho ho ho! What is this? Oh! That's what it is. Got it. Master, I have found a collapsed bamboo up ahead. Just need the bamboo because it has been infected with EMP and the crater is carrying its all damage. The world big head in the room's office outfit, it has been clearly been legally modified. What is it doing here? The clue has been stored in the mind space. Okay, we go from here. Um uh, okay, now we're going here. Uh how about I click on this? What? Oh, hold up. Oh, I see what's turning. Uh, ha, 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 ha. uh so if I was want to go back this way, oh, I can't. Hmm. I'm just clicking these. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, I'm not doing that. Okay, let me go to here then that's the case. Um Okay. Okay. Insufficient connected clues to answer the question. Okay, that can't be questioned. Or answered. Uh what do I do now then? Freak man. Oh, right, okay. If I go down here. Oh, lose it back up. Okay, got it, got the clue, right? Okay, hey, look at that. Now we got it. We got to the point I need to go, actually. Okay. The clue found Master, it. There is a small forklift parked on one side of the scene. 
Okay, some clues. There's another cuckoo thunderstorm within the puddle. You you have a forklift with a point here. Uh, carefully examine the forklift. The forklift surface is like an antique weapon coating. It today is not a model used in the hollow, but there are no signs of corruption in the vehicle. Did the vehicle enter the hollow not long ago? Hmm. Um. This is okay. Let's try this one. After the expression, the driver was compiled. It found the figures can only be started due to an electric signal. However, the driver record seems intact. Aha, lucky us! Yes. Okay, now check the figures driving records. Although the driver record signal is encoded, the fairy here. This is no problem. Fairy, okay on you. Decoding in progress. Please wait. Decoding completed. Now playing the previously saved recording. Didn't boss ask you to get something sturdy? Once it matter as long as it moves. Who cares if it's a little windy? Whatever. Just get this thing moving already. The evidence carrier will be here soon. Let me check Big Head's carrot data. The record's cut off. The one involved the couple who will talk to the evidence carrier, in case they didn't follow Lido's instructions. I'm not going to mention the consequence of their workless action. Okay. There's a new question in mind space. Okay. Let's check it. Let's check it out. Ooh, we do got plenty of clues now. Let's see. A question has arisen from the two collected clues. Master, do you want to solve it? Give it a shot. There's a heavy card to left of thing, and the underfoot was found. From this, we can draw a conclusion. Hmm. Park chewing? Huh? Parachuting? Sounds like something that only happens in movies. My bad! Never mind! Most likely driving. Indeed. Never mind what I said first time. Behind, the forklift was likely the culprit's means of transportation to the scene. Can't hide this. So After you're my all the favorite. questions are answered, the truth will reveal itself. Next! The focal device is in purple are being fed. They are found so hard to identify the footprint around the scene, which may answer. Um. Do the special. One on foot. Affirmative. It is highly likely that the culprits left on foot. Most likely. Alright, next, next. I several damage legal modified baby was found near the scene and come around with a contact to help a call and something can be made. Who damaged this main boo? Why would we say mine? The culprits. Right. Considering all the clues, this conclusion makes sense. Mm hmm the key no. question has emerged. Alright. Compile clues with clearing the puzzle holes in. Mm. They have already left the hollow. Hmm, the culprit's bangboo is broken, so I bet they can't find the way out. Most likely. Just not far from here. You're right. Not Got only it. are the culprits carrying the evidence, but they also don't have a carrot. Hiding nearby while they wait for their accomplices would be the wisest choice. Master, all the clues have been gathered. The case replay is now available. Okay, first thing you need to give us a surprise. Are you ready? Uh, start the case replay. Go on. Oh, we're here. Ooh, look at that. Hurry up. The evidence carrier will be here soon. Stay close to me, big head. We'll bolt after taking the evidence. The evidence carrier's here. Stop right here! You're clearly in the middle of the place we play. The player part of the you're playing. When clear is paused, you're free to explore as you please. Press the high or you'll be watch the clip. Then move to the next clip, please press continue. Continue. Wait, I press, I press continue. No clue no clue within. Please explore the surroundings. Oh, I can look around for free. Okay, are there anything I could collect that's useful here? It doesn't seem like it actually. Let's go here. Master, you might come across important scenes during the case replay that might help our investigation. Please pay close attention. Alright, alright. Playing closely, there seem to be a hidden path ahead. Do you have the edges clear to should be up ahead? Keep an eye out for the place as of telling the reality. Keep investigating. Once you have visited the clear, the clear have become blue. 
Hope that hasn't been to see to play the next clip. Okay. Next. Um. this master the culprits are whispering to each other in front of the door okay Set a password for this door and lock it then we don't have to worry about anyone following us that's brilliant let's use one two three four five that's simple Some password. let me set it five four three two one that's still simple okay from the couple person you learned that they might have locked the door with the password while passing by um, pass for again. Once you have a point of clues, you head back to reality. Press as the case of I. Okay, we're out. Watch the case quick. No, we got it. Master, you can return to the real world to investigate now. Okay, so we know what they're hiding now exactly. We figured out the exit used by the culprits. Let's go check it out. Like, what's up, you fuckers? Master. I found a hidden exit here. Okay. A couple of pieces of wood and check the hiding password. There's since some food put it like 540 to 1. That was so simple. What the fuck, dude? Like, why would you do that? Oh no. Look! There's a spatial fissure over there. But how are we supposed to get through this area? I'm not gonna guess. Master. I found a surveillance camera corrupted by the hollow. In tuck inside, I should have the whole thing. If I ask for the camera, we'll have the code get through the area. Alright, let's get started. How the fuck did we go inside? Whoa! I got teleported back just like that! I know the way through here. Follow me. And I back up. And I go up. Okay, that should be easy. The culprit's route has been recorded. Once you return to reality, I'll guide you in real time. Oh, it'll be more easier. Cool, thanks, fairy. I've highlighted the culprit's route for you. Here I've got ten fairy. Now let's follow that route. We'll go back. And then we go up. I mean it's pretty easy to move anyways, you don't have to tell me. Okay, we gotta go. We got two out of three already. Where's the dead one? This soap is going real good. There's a group of abandoned buildings ahead. Ahead? Are those bamboos? Oh shit, look at that. Hold on, hold on. Let me. Okay, there's nothing here useful except for the healing thing. Um, it doesn't really heal them. I guess we're gonna go back. Is this what it is? Wait, no, we just went back. Okay, never mind. Let me just go back where I came from. She said up ahead. Master, I found a surveillance camera corrupted by the hollow. Some of the data inside is still intact. Hmm. You might be cooler from the cliff, of course you go. Select the data, justice and attention. Hey, what did you say? The PubSec officers are gone? Understood. Let's hide somewhere. There's a crack in this wall. We can get through here. Can you get through? Let's wait here for the others to pick us up. Hmm. Many walls here. The case replay is virtual, so you cannot pick anything up. Hmm. I mean, uncollected hollow observation data detected at this. Okay, I know, fairy. The replay is over. So we know what they're hiding. I'm going to catch these goddamn rats. 
Hey, look at that. Let me break this. And let me... Nothing. Good one. Wait, hold up. Okay, I'm gonna save this. Call the be save and Zoe. Anything else to go back? Nothing else? Nope, it's not. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm gonna kill. Put your hands up, bitch! You oh man, we're gonna kick your ass and beat the fuck out of you. I am a very sexy and attractive officer. Who's gonna kick your ass? Because yes. Oh, you know, alone. Ellen. Oh, you're trying to swing at Ellen now, aren't you? Wait, you think you know where you're hiding this time? Damn. Okay. Keep on swinging. Go, Lena. Yeah, we got a shotgun real good. Hey, yeah, where they came from? Sorry! I'm getting gangbanged! Ah! My god! What do you want from me? You're all dead! Hell no! Should've smacked you down. Nice! Those two are dead. Pretty decent. Okay, last phase over here. Oh, rats. I'll sack Fire is right here. This is called striking when your enemy is under care. Take them down and retrieve the evidence. Yeah, like this. Maximum firepower. Oh, really? Find the cock. Okay, that's done. Now we got this evidence collected. Look, they're carrying an etheric matter container. Do you think this is really the stolen evidence? Yeah, no doubt about it. Even with it sealed, its aura gives me the creeps. Yes, fantastic. We finally got the evidence back. The assailants that blocked our path earlier likely haven't figured out we've outmaneuvered them and retaken the evidence. At this point, all we need to do is get out of the hollow and we're safe. There's an exit nearby. There's an exit nearby. I'll take you there. Okay, a few minutes later. The exit is just up ahead. But I guess there's a way we pass ways. If you two aren't in a hurry to arrest me today, I suppose we'll go our separate ways here. Don't worry, I don't want to burn any bridges. It's bad karma. Besides, I've always thought indiscriminately arresting proxies isn't very fair. Circumstances aren't always the same for everyone. Uh, Chingyi, we're officers. Should you really be saying that? Uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks for your help, Faithen. I should be thanking you. I should thank you, too, for uncovering the threat to the evidence vehicle and fearlessly going into the hollow to protect it. Goodbye, officers. Hopefully our next meeting won't be quite so tense. Yeah, the baby will walk away and soon disappear from sight. Now that Faithen's gone, let's hurry up and get this evidence out of here. All right, let's go. Hmm, wait a minute. Faithen thanked us for uncovering the threat and fearlessly going into the hollow to protect it. Doesn't that sound suspicious to you? Suspicious? Ah, huh, right. Logically speaking, while monitoring the evidence carrier, Faithen would have realized the evidence had been switched and upon seeing us assumed we were there to investigate. But it sounded like Faithen knew what happened outside the hollow too. Oh unexpected. It seems Faithen attended the seminar today. Yeah, a few days later. Ah, there you are. Are you free today? Wanna come with me to the public security precinct at Lumina Square? Oh, the place is scared present again? I feel a bit uneasy every time I hear public security these days. Actually, I heard Ji Yuan and Xingyi will be heading back to their own branch today. It's probably best not to run into them again inside the hollows. But outside the hollows, it might be quite a while before we see them again. Hmm. Um. Should we at least get them to get the membership card? You're intending to convince them to register for a membership card. Aren't you? Uh, it's no fun when you know me so well. I was thinking, how about we give them a gift too? Like a collector's edition of that popular pub sec movie, Mission Unthinkable. Hmm. Good idea. Good idea. 
That's the one where the main character goes against his superior and chooses to protect the citizens, right? They're gonna be leaving soon. Let's get going. All right, let's go. Hey, Jion. Oh, we've got everything packed. Let's get it in the car. Phew, we made it just in time. Hey there, managers. What brings you here? We just want to say goodbye. We heard you're heading back to your own branch, so we wanted to say goodbye. We haven't known each other for long, but we've had quite a memorable time together, right? I sent about the absence during the seminar. But, Zhu Yuan, weren't you supposed to be interviewed on stage for the seminar? Why did that officer with glasses go up instead? Belle was really looking forward to asking you questions, but you weren't there. I'm sorry, but we got assigned to a tricky case that day. I can't disclose the details, but it went well. Largely due to the clues you provided about the 6th Street EMP case. Oh, really? That's awesome. Hmm. We bought the use of new from the story. It's not often you get to meet new people, so we brought you something to remember us by. A movie about a public security officer. We appreciate it, but it's against regulations for officers to accept gifts from citizens. However, could I buy the video as a customer of Random Play? Of course. Of course. We'd be delighted to have you as a customer. They're getting ready to leave. So how about we check out the neighborhood and finally grab that meal we've been meaning to have? Yeah. Oh, I never expected our time at the Lumina Branch to be so eventful. Things turned out okay. The seminar settled, case cracked, evidence secure. It's just a shame. The reports we have to write are gonna be lame. Uh, hmm? Is that supposed to be a poem? Oh, who's calling? Excuse me, someone's calling me. Hey, you've got time to chat during the day? Well, this is a rarity. Hello. I'm looking over our graduation album. Me? What is she doing? You? You're flipping through our graduation album? Now? This isn't another one of your weird exercises, is it? Wait, they know each other? Mm hmm. I'm trying to remember all of the names of our old classmates by looking at these photos. By the way, do you still remember the graduation message you wrote for me? May you become the pursuant of true justice. The sharp blade of the law slicing through the wickedness of the night sky. Oh, all right. Yet there's no need to shout. Someone might hear you. My apologies. It's just... This message really means a lot to me. How does the true justice mentioned in your message differ from regular justice? Is it comparable to the difference between an actual melon and a melon-flavored lollipop? <sighs> Many people say they taste pretty much the same. But even though the melons I buy are hardly ever sweet, I still prefer the taste of real melons. Just like your pursuit of true justice. A real melon will always be a real melon. That can never be imitated. Are those words of encouragement? Well, thanks. <laughs> Wait, how does a member of hand like you know that I've been reprimanded by the precinct? Because the case of the unidentified monster discovered by Balabog Industries has been transferred to Section 6. My intelligence officer pointed out that we might need you to come in and provide some more detailed intel. So, that thing's in your custody? Are you telling me there's something wrong with the evidence? That's the reason why I'm calling you. We found pieces of what resembles a mask within the monster's remains and we managed to extract human DNA from it. Does this mean you figured out the origin of the monster? Unfortunately, no. Apart from determining the deceased as a male from the DNA, we compared it with DNA records of missing persons and criminals throughout the city, but found no matches. He may have been someone from outside the city with no known identity. But what do you think? Since Maroon risked going into the hollow to get it, there must be some secret on the deceased's body. I wouldn't think he's a nobody. I agree. But as of now, we're still missing the key to this puzzle. Thanks for the intel, Miyabi. Let's catch up in a few days. Mm-hmm. See you. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Judging from the conversation, I'm guessing there's some progress with the evidence over at hand? Seems so. They've made an important discovery. But that's only created more questions. Jump in, Chingyi. Let's talk more on the way. All right, let's go. Okay, the night is still me in the John called Close Kitty Building. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Perlman. <sighs> Attorneys always running so slowly. Look at them heels, damn! You're the ones who suggested we meet. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting? Huh? Wait, it's, 
It's you! Uh, Sarah! You've got some nerve to show your face after the trouble you caused! Oh my. <laughs> Come now, Mr. Perlman. It was your idea to deal with the residents in the blast zone. Who would the high heel angle like that? Not to mention the fact that your technical advisor and personal secretary, Sarah, never existed in the first place. Well then, there's no need to grit your teeth. I'm actually here to discuss business with you. Please confess to all your crimes in court, and we'll make sure you get the best treatment in prison. Huh. You and that bastard behind you are the ones who convinced me to carry out the blast in the first place, and now you want me to take all the blame! <laughs> That's quite the scheme. I hear recently, Bella Park Industries stumbled upon a monster in that plaza inside the hollow. And the evidence collected from the creature's remains was almost stolen. Honestly, I've been wondering. The plaza isn't along the subway route. Yet your plan included research of it and explosives for it. Your real goal is to retrieve the evidence, isn't it? I wonder, what would happen if I brought this up in court? I'm sure the judge wouldn't entertain such baseless fantasies, Mr. Perlman. Baseless fantasies, you say? Huh. Let's get real, then. What if I told you I have proof of your involvement in the Vision case, along with that of the person behind you? Definitive proof. Hey, you heard what Perlman just said, right? I can't stand clingy men, but I must say that's quite the ace up his sleeve. Sounds like you're enjoying this situation. <laughs> How could that be? I'm genuinely concerned about our partnership. So what's your plan now? Will you agree to his terms? I'll handle it. Okay, what's going on? Late night, you turn home with Belle. When it comes to food, both cheap and incredible or tasty, Hopper is the first pick. How about it? Feeling satisfied now? Satisfied, especially after walking up along the beach after dinner so relaxing. Don't you feel sore today from all that walking? Why, is only watching other two completely different things. That's too much. You'll lose all the joy in life. Okay, I just can't win with you, can I? Oh yeah, remember that buy an extra copies of Mission Unthinkable next time you didn't stalk him? Oh, it's already late. We should get ready for bed. I'm going back to my room now. Good night. I'm laying on the soft bed, my legs tired from so much walking, so relaxing. I never thought that we would become friends with the public security officers. Public security is no longer have the evidence. Hopefully, the bad guys will not look to target Zoo, Yarn, and Jingyu. But clues. Are there other clues? Before you know it, you jump into deep slumber. You sleep soundly, and your body feels completely resolved. I don't think there'll be any public security today. Let's see what we're on schedule. We have to take it easy, day, easy today. Ah, oh, Grace, a gender story? <gasps> Wait, 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 she has one? Oh my gosh, she does! Ooh, okay, you know what? She'll be next. I'm gonna stop it there, so next episode, I will do Grace Story Quest. Oh, well, I'm gonna there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.